Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, gonna take another trip to Florida and we're just gonna take the truck this time. So I thought what I'd do is do kind of a comparison of, you know, what's it take to set up the camper versus doing the truck. Um, we'll do fuel mileage. Um, you know, we're gonna have to stay in a motel, uh, comfort, packing, all of that stuff. So we'll get started. So one of the first things I do on the bus anyway is check tire pressure. So on the truck here, uh, makes it pretty easy because I don't have a TPM on the other one, is uh, can go in here, check the tire pressure. So needs to be around 34 and not sure if you can see that. Everything is uh, right where it needs to be. So tire pressure is pretty easy on the truck. So one other item, you know, is checking the air pressure. If I had a TPM sensor for each of these wheels, I could just do it like I did on my truck. But otherwise, I've got to go around and check all the wheels. And so there's two up front. Uh, there's four on the main drive axle and two on the tag. Um, there are air ports on the bus so that I can put air inside of the tire if I need to. But I usually wheel around an air compressor. Um, it does take about 120 PSI in uh, the front, so you need an air compressor that's capable of doing it. Um, knock on wood, I haven't really had to change the or uh, adjust the air pressure that much, but it's been, been pretty good. Um, the other item, you know, on a camper that you've got to do is uh, unplug it and then make sure your generator and inverters are going. So another item I check on the bus is the engine coolant. So this one you can just see there, um, truck's five years old, hadn't even moved, probably needs change, but it's fine. And then the other one is the oil. So just like any normal car, just pull it up here and uh, give it a check. I'm blind out of one eye and can't see out of the other, so gotta check that out. And we're uh, right where we need to be, if not a little high. So we're good to go on the, all of the fluids. Well, here I'm going to show you how to check the oil. If you guys don't know, you can open up this back compartment. It might be locked, but most of the time it's probably not. You open up this door and you've got access to the air filter. There's this little lever right here, and you press it, and that releases this back end. And then this massive guy shoots up in the air. Ugh. And then so to check the oil, it's just like on a car, except the dipstick is four miles long. Um, so we'll go ahead and stick it back in here. check it anyway and it's full knock on wood this thing has not really used that much oil I think some of it comes out of the breather tube they have this tank here I think it holds uh, I don't know how many quarts four or five and it's got a lever down here if you do need to add it you can just flick the switch and it will fill up your uh, engine oil accordingly the other item that you check is the antifreeze and they've got a sight level sight glass right here and so as long as this has got, um, you kind of see like, it looks like an air bubble. Um, you see fluid inside of there, it's fine. If not, you've got to f uh, fill it up this way. And then there's also the oil for this. The engine runs this guy and this ends up turning the big fan. And so you just check that oil. This one's been clean. So I, ha I haven't even changed it. Uh, and then you've got the transmission uh, one as well, and that was just changed. And then we just checked the belts. Um, there's no air on this. So people that say it's okay to start this without air in this bag, um, you know, this is a lot of money in belts to just, I don't know, scares me to death. That's why I always run the air compressor and then that will put tension in here and then start it up. It only takes a couple of minutes. So that's everything that I do to check the fluids in the back here before I go. 
So the other item is food, snacks, water. So this is it. Um, this is Orca. Uh, ended up seeing a YouTube video of these and uh, this was a pretty high rated cooler. It's been nice. So it's empty right now, but um, this is gonna be it for the trip there. Um, so that's, that's it. Well, when we pack up with the full-size fridge, we are able to pack, pack this guy. So we've got everything in here and everything in here. So we're also able to pack inside of here. We use the laundry room for, it was kind of a pantry. So we're able, we're packed up for a week. Still have tons of room in, so uh, plenty of room. So another thing is just uh, storage. So these crew cabs got a pretty good size uh, seating area, so it's not too bad. It's kind of dirty back here, but um, after we go to Florida and back, uh, it's not gonna get any cleaner. Um, the other is, is I've got this uh, truck top and it's pretty daggone nice. It's like a overhead coiling door. Um, so I need to take that out, but provides, I'd say 98% uh, waterproofness and uh, it'll hold quite a bit. So I'll show it all packed up and I'll show our storage on the uh, bus. This is just a sample of the storage. I've got all my stuff inside this guy. And then I put my hanging shirts in here. So there's plenty of room, that's just my stuff. There's tons more drawers. So here's more storage back here. We've got all this hanging sh and all of this hanging. Then we've got a set of three drawers, set of three drawers, and we put our uh, clothes basket there. Plus we've got these, all of this, coming down around, going down there. There's just a ton of storage. So I've got this entire bay in here. So it's four foot by four foot and eight foot long. And I can put anything I want in here. It's kind of a junk bin right now until I get it transformed. Uh, next to it, I've got another four foot by four foot bay and it's got two slide outs in it. And so I've got all of our camping chairs and the tents and a whole bunch of stuff in here that honestly, a lot of it we don't, we don't use well it depends on our trip but this is just the storage on the outside here we are inside the bus as far as storage inside of here uh, it's kind of unlimited you know we've got all of these cabinets um, we've got a huge pantry we've got this entire closet this entire closet underneath of the bed uh, all everything in back and all of the cabinets up here so just uh, no end to storage. Of course, as we drive down the road, uh, you can do anything driving uh, down the road as you can camp sitting. And so we've got my beloved toilet and a private bathroom in here that you could use as we're uh, going down the road. Um, you can also use the shower uh, in the sink. So we've got a lot of options as far as restroom facilities while we're driving down the road. So getting gas in the truck, if I were to take the camper, um, gas here is around $4 a gallon. Um, I did find it if I were driving um, south of uh, Louisville for $3.69 uh, using the TSD card. Um, looks like the pump price is $3.97 and I could get it for $3.69. So, um, my fuel here for the truck just got it finished so i got a full tank for 339 and uh, it's only 67 dollars for 19 gallons so that'll only get me about a uh, uh, 400 miles though so i'll do the uh the math in the corner of the screen here show you the difference so couldn't resist going ahead and uh, getting a truck wash before we go. I know it's stupid right before we go on a big trip, but I uh, 
cleaned out the inside of the truck and cleaning the outside, get a fresh start. Well crew, I got home and already missing the bus. Uh, we got our cooler packed up, but there's not that much. Oh, shoot. Not that much in it, and uh, that's all we got. We're used to having a full fridge. Um, we've also got bags of other drinks in here. So I have half of the truck filled up and I don't even have any luggage yet. Um, we've got our water buried underneath of there, some shoes, um, but at least I can pull this cover over. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So I'm about 90, 95% waterproof back here, except for driving rains through the side. Um, it's wet because I got a truck wash, um, but yeah, I'm already missing the bus. Uh, just so you know, uh, we're going to Disney because of my daughter's dance and we have to stay at the resort. So that's why we're not taking the bus because otherwise we couldn't get on the buses to go to the dances. So just thought I'd share that with you. All right, gang. So we haven't even left yet. It's not even tomorrow and I'm getting concerned. So we are pretty full and we still have a couple bags left. Um, you, the, we've got this weird weather transition of, uh, you know, it's cold here, warm there, and then it might get cold. Um, the inside of here, I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, you know, they're used to having studies and computers, so it's gonna fill up quick. And then my wife, she's got her computer up here as well. But we're used to, you know, in the bus, grab everything you want and then throw a little bit more in and it's not even remotely close to being full not even close and so you know we're in a four-door f-150 with a topper and uh can barely get a family of four to fit in here it's kind of sad but um just kind of spoils you in that camper so camper definitely wins for storage but um, we'll see how she goes. So we're almost packed. It's uh, almost four in the morning. I'll be able to fit all my luggage inside of there. But uh, I think they're missing the camper. Well, our bags are packed. We're ready to go. It's four in the morning. It's trying to snow. It's just like every vacation. You guys ready? You wish we had the bus, or are you okay? I like it. All right. Got the truck in here. We'll all set. We'll see how this trip goes. You wish we had the bus, or are you okay? I like the truck. It makes me feel safer. Really? This yeah, especially in a high wind warning and um, snow and rain and ice and sleet. Except if you crash in it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nothing but more rain. Having fun? Only have 10 more hours. Well, we stopped for gas again. We are north of Nashville. It has been rain the whole entire way. It finally let up, so now my wife's gonna drive. So I'll take it, but uh, been a long trip. Now we've got high winds, so it's been fun. Well, we are filling up once again. Uh, we're finally south of Atlanta. Got about five and a half hours left to go. Sure, uh, sure miss the 235 gallon fuel tank and a uh, place to sleep, bathroom, kitchen. Spilled my coffee on my floor this morning. So I had to stop and get a gas station coffee. It smelled like, tasted like a hot tire, like that smell. But got our refrigerator, everything's doing good, almost there. 
Well, here we are. We checked into the Disney's All-Star Music. Uh, we ended up staying at the True TRU uh, Hotel last night. It was really nice. 120 bucks for a brand new place, all new breakfast or all breakfast and everything like that. So that was pretty nice. Can't check in till three, but the park opens at 10. So we're leaving all of our stuff in the truck and uh, gonna go see if we can get in the park. This is our room in Disney All-Star Music. It's pretty nice, but it's small and the walls, I don't think have any insulation in between them. Um, definitely, I'm, I miss the camper. Do you, Emma, at all, or is it nice in here? She doesn't care, but I don't know. We've got all the chargers that we need. We've got a shower, but we've got all of that in the bus as well. But I don't know, we had to carry our luggage no kidding, it was almost like a mile from the parking lot to here. Um, got here about 10 o'clock at night, but um, I don't know. It was fine. But yeah, definitely things about the uh, camper that we like. Um, it's just nice having your own personal space with all your stuff in it. Um, I think the bus is bigger than the room, um, but I don't know. We had to stay here because of the dance team. Not sure how it is getting from the RV park to the to the park, but I'll check that out. Well, we are north of Nashville now. We ended up leaving at 4.20 in the morning. One thing that we figured out, or I kind of figured out that I like, that's nice about the bus is just being packed up at night, ready to go. All I gotta do is take a shower and uh, get on the road and the kids don't have to get up at all everybody was cranky so it's pretty nice having the uh the bus well trying to put an end to this video of the bus versus the truck uh just in summary i put together some numbers the bus at today's dollars so this is uh mid may at 5.69 a gallon uh, to drive the bus down to Florida um, and stay four nights at the RV park would be about $2,400. If gas goes back down under $4 a gallon, which I think it should, it'd be about two grand. Uh, to take the truck down to Florida and back, it's about 488 in gas, so that's at 4.69. And then we had to stay the night at a motel. So that was about 180 bucks. And then that place that we stayed, that all-star music, which uh, I'm not sure I'd recommend, that was about 200 a night. So it was 1400 bucks in the truck. And if we would have taken the bus, it'd have been 2,400. So it was another thousand dollars. So, you know, is it worth a thousand bucks to drive this guy down? You know, I think it just depends. Um, it's kind of nice, I guess, to take the truck every now and then, but I actually like driving the bus better. It's just bigger, more roomy. Um, I don't know, feel more in control. And I usually have the truck behind me anyway, if we need to get away. But, you know, we can pack that sucker up, which is really nice. You know, we, we packed this up as best we could. Um, so just ease, I guess. You, you, just pack this up. Like I said, leaving in the morning, um, we can, all I have got to do is I don't even have to, but I can take a shower in this and then drive and, uh, wife and kids, they, and dogs, they can stay sleeping so I can get on the road. You know, we had to wake up at four in the morning, pack up and go to the truck and get in. And so people were, uh, family was not happy. Um, the fridge, you know, we can pack anything that we want into there. Uh, it's got a bathroom on board. Kids can lay down. Um, the other is the dogs, so we can bring the dogs with us. And so, you know, that's $50, $80 a night for the 
for the dogs to stay and have somebody take care of them. But I don't know, just thought I'd put that together. Um, you know, is it financially cheaper to take the bus? No. I mean, you can stay at a nice motel for cheaper than driving the bus, but it is pretty doggone nice. You know, with more and more people getting into it, there's less and less places open. But, you know, as long as you can get into a nice big place, you can uh, slip this guy in there and it's pretty nice. We use it to travel. So, you know, we drive, pull the truck um, behind there and uh, stay the night and then we get in the truck and take off. And so, I mean, it makes it pretty nice. You can roll into a rest area. If I run the generator and the air conditioners, you can't hear anything outside. It's when I try to not run the, it's on the temperatures where it's real nice outside and you wanna open the windows up, then it gets loud, you know, if you stop at a rest area or Walmart or wherever you're going. Um, otherwise, you know, you pull the blinds down, turn the generator on and uh, you don't even know where you're at. So just thought I'd throw this video together. It's probably not the best one. Um, but I uh, tried to get it out. I got a copyright um, check on the other video I was trying to, to push out. So I thought I'd go ahead and release this one. I'm hoping I um, need a human to go in and uh, unrestrict it so I can get it published. So I thought I'd throw this one out. So don't hold this one against me. It's not my best work at all. But just, uh, I don't know. I'm not the best YouTuber, but just throwing some videos together for people that uh, are interested in these old guys so hope you like it and we'll see you next time